Hey there, everyone. We're just about to go out and do a little bit of vacuuming today. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. My name's Graham. I've been in a vacuuming for close to close to 15 years now. Actually, I had a really, really abusive stepdad get me into it at a pretty early age. He just busted into my room, usually on a Saturday or Sunday, just the day that I was off school and just kind of just run in with the vacuum, have it on, and just kind of tell me that I was worthless and stuff. So I've just I've just really gotten into vacuuming over the years. It's 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 a great hobby. I'm in eighth grade. I just turned 14 last month. October 10th, gang, what up? Yeah, 14. Each day I try to vacuum a new place just to do a good thing. I'm about to go over to this church parking lot that I used to I used to go to the church. And I'm just kind of gonna just just vacuum over there. Just try to just try to spread a little bit of love. You know, everyone has their own way of spreading love. This is just one of the ways that I like to do it. We're actually gonna be using one of my favorite vacuum cleaners today this is a shark brand vacuum cleaner his name is Aaron we're actually in a committed relationship no no not uh not not romantic or anything not 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 at all i promise not it's super platonic his name is aaron i thought that was just kind of a cool name because you know like the air sucks air you know what i mean really good at sucking air you know um but yeah we're just we're just about to go hit up the church parking lot and just try to just do some good things by the way we're on somewhat of a time crunch because if my stepdad finds out that i took the vacuum cleaner out again without permission it's not gonna be good i'm gonna have some some things waiting at home for me but gotta get the mail really quick like i said earlier on top of vacuuming the house at least four times a day the entire house is important it feels good it keeps the house clean keeps the parents happy keeps my stepdad from beating me it's pretty sweet but every single day i try to go out and vacuum a new place just to spread a little bit more love one thing that I really, really like to do is I like to surprise my friends by going over to their house and vacuuming. They don't always like that because it's it's really loud sometimes and sometimes I forget to mention that I'm coming over and growing up we never knocked or rang the doorbell before entering a house. So it, I don't know, people just get upset sometimes. They always they always understand though when they when they just see that I just have a vacuum and just wanna, you know, do a good thing. A lot of my friends say, hey, hey Graham, why, why are you so into vacuum cleaners? And I usually just go, well, it's mostly just due to a lot of childhood trauma but to be completely honest i really have fallen in love with these contraptions over the years the last red light that i pulled up to there was this girl that rolled up right next to me just just directly next to me this super hot blonde chick she just kind of smiled and waved i could tell that she saw the vacuum she, she rolled down the window she's like oh what brand of vacuum is that and i was like it's shark i i've pretty much just gotten used to having to give out fake phone numbers it's just kind of it's just what i do now i pretty much have one memorized that i just give out 661-805-1483 so if you want to text that number it's not mine, but but yeah, it's just the one that I give out to girls. All right, we just got to the church. I'm going to be really, really careful this time, though. They said if I came back a third time, they're going to have to call the cops for trespassing. This is my eighth time since, so I mean, I've gotten pretty lucky, but we're just going to be careful. You ever see a girl with just like a real nice set of ears? That's kind of how I am with vacuums, like ones with certain shapes of handles. I'm just like, oh my gosh, dude. It's, oof. All right, come on, Aaron, let's do this. Overall, that was a very, very successful vacuuming trip. I feel very, very good about what I did. I, I was just a tiny bit, okay, I was super disappointed when I realized that I'd forgotten the hose attachment at home, but that's just the thing. You live and you learn. Every time you vacuum, you learn new things. You get a little bit better at it. You, you learn the, the components inside. It's just such a beautiful thing. A lot of people say vacuums suck, and I'm like, that's like that's true, but I think, I think they mean it in a negative way. What is going on? My freaking maid snake here. Hope your Thanksgiving was just absolutely delightful i hope it's great hope you spend it with some friends family and mates i'm just so freaking excited today number one this is like on the bottom of reasons why i'm excited but number one we're almost at 2k subscribers so thank you so so much to all the new mates that came to the channel that just blows my freaking mind and the parker cannon video has been doing better than any video that i've ever made and i spent so much time on it and had so much fun doing it so so just thanks i, I appreciate it i'm just really really excited right now so if it seems like i'm really excited it's because i am <laughs> gonna be watching one of my very 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 favorite videos on the entire internet we're gonna be talking about it i just love this video so much from our boys over at the learning channel if you want to learn something go to the learning channel either on cable television or youtube either one doesn't matter same general rules apply for this video that i'm gonna be commenting on and just kind of saying things about i really really do love this kid
kid and it's actually a really really inspiring story because he's just so passionate about these vacuum cleaners and even though we're going to be laughing and just kind of goofing around it's no hate at all this kid is actually really great I, I would honestly hang out with him he seems like a really cool guy it's rare to find someone so passionate about something and this kid just happens to be passionate about vacuums this video is just very interesting and i just want to laugh do some commentary and have some fun and i hope you mates enjoy it let's get right into this let's see how logan's doing this video is aptly titled when your kids obsessed with vacuums you'll always have clean floors facts that is literally factual information the only thing 13 year old logan halls of sibley iowa likes more than the sound of one of his over 100 vacuum cleaners is the feeling of one in his hands so logan from iowa right i'm really really not surprised that he's from the midwest because people from the midwest are always very very interesting people i've actually been to iowa myself my dad is from iowa so i feel like i'm okay to say that there are lots of weird people in the midwest there are lots of weird people in california including me i feel joy when i vacuum <laughs> I always vacuum at least three or four times a day just to get that nice feeling. He gets up in the morning, he cricks the vacuum on, vacuums his bedroom. Then when he comes downstairs, vacuums living room. This kid feels joy when he vacuums. That is genuinely one of the most wholesome, pure things that I've ever heard in my entire life. It's just so rare to find someone so passionate about something. And this kid just loves vacuums. And I think there's nothing wrong with that at all. He vacuums his house three to four times a day just so he can get that good feeling. Now, I don't know what it was like when you were a kid, but when I was a kid, it was kind of just like pulling teeth to get me to clean it all. I would definitely do it because I was a pretty dang good kid. My parents had it pretty easy with me, but I sure wouldn't have done it if they didn't make me do it. I can tell you that for sure. And then through my living room, through the dining room, and then my kitchen. And he will come home from school and then vacuum again. <laughs> It makes me feel kind of annoyed because there's always a vacuum running around the house and I can't really concentrate on what I want to do. So he wakes up for school. He vacuums. He gets home from school. He vacuums. He vacuums. His sister wants to play for Elise on the piano. He vacuums. There was a point in my life when I wanted to get good at playing the keyboard and it was actually pretty difficult. I, I was able to learn a couple of really, really basic songs like Welcome to the Black Parade by My Chemical Romance, like anyone else who's ever tried to play the keyboard. But I just know that it would have been much, much harder if when I was trying to learn the keyboard, if there was some vacuum cleaner noise behind me the entire time. Because it's already hard enough to learn how to play music, but when you can't even hear the music that you're trying to play, it just makes it so hard to get good at playing music. I think one important thing to keep in mind throughout this video about this kid is that he vacuums. I usually like to go to other places to vacuum. My mom works at the hair salon, so I like to go there. Perfect. He likes to come down here, obviously, and do some vacuuming of the hair. And of course, we need it done daily. I am just so in love with the shots of him on his bike carrying the freaking vacuum cleaner. If that's not passion, I genuinely do not know what is. I know that I'm laughing at this and I think it's funny, but that is seriously some passion. And it's just so, it's so refreshing to see someone just so unapologetically be passionate about what they're doing. It's beautiful. And the fact that his mom works as a hairdresser, how perfect is that? He can go over there every day and vacuum up all of the hair. I think his parents' occupations just suit his hobbies and interests so well. It's insane. Just wait till you see what his dad does for a living. So he will come down and do the daily here. And then when I'm done at my mom's salon, my dad's a fire chief, so I vacuum at fire hall. And I like having Logan down here at the fire hall because firemen are the dirtiest guys in the world sometimes, which can't help. And he's <laughs> takes care of it. He's like my maid, if you will. But he makes sure he cleans. I have the cleanest trucks in Northwest Iowa. And if he runs out of trucks to do and the floors to do, you'll be out the bay sucking up the crap. His dad works at a fire station, a giant fire station with firemen who, who he claims are some of the dirtiest people in the world, which I guess I believe, but that is just so perfect. He has so much ground to cover. He can vacuum every square inch of that floor every single day. He can vacuum all the trucks. Even if he runs out of trucks to vacuum, he can go outside and vacuum in between the cracks. I mean, this just this kid just has it made and I'm kind of jealous in some ways. It's kind of like if you're really into painting or you want to be an artist and your mom works at a paint gallery or she's an artist or she does pottery that you can paint it's just it's just so ideal this kid logan he's a privileged kid <laughs> keep on vacuuming until it's all done and then i repeat every day 
Sibley is a small town. Everyone knows everyone, and they may not know us directly, but they'll be like, hey, your son's the vacuum kid. <laughs> Okay, all jokes aside, this kid has the makings of one of the most successful of one of the most successful entrepreneurs of our entire generation. He's like, find something that you're passionate about, dive into it, get obsessed with it, do it every single day and repeat. I think it's amazing how he's gained notoriety in the town as the vacuum kid. And as an entrepreneur, that's something that you want to do. You want to be the guy that sells yo-yos to people. You want to be this guy or that guy. This kid is already making a name for himself at such a young age just because he's so passionate about vacuum cleaners. Like, like, this is insane. I'm honestly really happy for him. I really am. He seems so happy all the time. Next thing you know, we're receiving vacuums from these people that were broken. And uh, most of the people thought of just to let him play with them and just experiment with them and things like that. But now he's repairing them and handing it back to them. So here's your vacuum back. And they're going, I just gave it to you to play with. I didn't expect it return in working condition. Again, with the entrepreneurship thing, this kid goes above and beyond people's expectations. These people didn't even have any expectations. They just said, hey, Logan, we know that you love vacuum cleaners. We're some decently nice people. We have a broken vacuum cleaner and we don't really want to throw it away. So here is our garbage from us to you. And what does Logan do? He's like, I'm going to spend 18.5 hours fixing and repairing your vacuum cleaner that you just gave me to play with. And I'm going to return it to you in working condition. I'm going to polish it i'm gonna spit on it i'm gonna rub it down with freaking polish and return it to you and give you a hundred dollars cash this kid is brilliant i wanted to add to my collection hey brenda Hi, logan got a vacuum for you so i created a business logan's miracle works vacuum cleaner repairs should be okay thank you every time i fix a vacuum cleaner i feel like a detective trying to find out a crime logan is a child prodigy with vacuums. He understands the culture. He knows how to deal with people and with vacuums at the same time. He's a freaking businessman. Did you hear how he greeted Brenda? Hey, Brenda. Hi, Logan. Got a vacuum for you. He is so good with people because when people are mixed with vacuums, Logan is happy. And when Logan's happy, he's fixing your vacuum cleaner in record time and having a great time doing it. He said he feels like a detective looking for a crime. And I think that's just a beautiful way to put it because Logan is always going to catch that criminal. That criminal being the jam in your vacuum. What is wrong with the little thing that spins around? Is there a hair in it? Is there a bobby pin? I don't know. Logan's going to find the crime. Crime, 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 crime. I usually try to dig deep far into the vacuum. If I find something odd looking, I always take that apart and put a new one back in and then voila. The most important part about fixing a vacuum cleaner is having to test the vacuum cleaner to see if it runs. Just for one second, one second is all I ask. Imagine the sheer joy and excitement that this kid named Logan receives after he finds the offender in the vacuum, takes it out, puts a new one in, whatever that means, and then he gets to test the vacuum. Just imagine how happy this kid is when he gets a broken vacuum. That's already exciting enough. He gets to play with a brand new vacuum. But once he gets to play with it and fix it and have it work again, I can only imagine how happy this kid is when that happens. Because I know that for things that I'm into, like when I get something in the mail or someone likes a video that I put up, I'm just like, so, so happy. And it just makes me so happy to see this kid happy. And I know I'm kind of like joking around and everything, but, but really this does make me super happy. I use glitter as my test dust because it's one of the hardest substances to vacuum up. <sighs> There's this comedian named Dimitri Martin, one of the few comedians that I think is actually funny along with Mitch Hedberg. There's this joke that he has and that joke is that glitter is the herpes of craft supplies. The thing about glitter is if you get it on you, be prepared to have it on you forever. Because glitter doesn't go away. Glitter is the herpes of craft supplies. So I think it is very, very fitting that Logan uses that as his magic fairy dust test stuff because you can see that that vacuum cleaner, it's sucking it up. Not just like, oh yeah, it's, you know, it's kind of getting, it is sucking that stuff up and that is like herpes. So Logan, you freaking killed that vacuum cleaner job. I know that's not even your best work that you've done, my mate. So keep killing it, Logan. You're amazing. Once again, well, Logan's hobby slash obsession slash passion is something that's a little bit goofy, a little bit 
off the beaten path as far as hobbies or passions go. It genuinely does make me just so incredibly happy to see someone that has just found something that they love so, so much. They're going all the way into it. He's doing it for fun. He's created a business around it. Honestly, that is all that you could ever ask for in life is doing what you love for a living because like they say, when you're doing what you love for a living, you don't work a day in your life. And I can absolutely say that that is 100% true. Logan, if you somehow see this, my mate, I just wanna let you know, I think you're cool as heck. I think your passion is dope. I think you should keep following it. I can't wait to see your business grow and expand over the years. I'm actually gonna have to look it up after this, my mate, see how it's doing. I know it's local, but I'm sure it's booming either way because vacuums, vacuums are important. Alrighty, my mates, that is the end of the video right there. Thank you so much for watching and tagging along and hopefully having a good time watching this. I deeply appreciate your support, your viewership, and just your relentless ability to make me smile. Just thank you so much. I have such a fun time doing this, my mates. If there's any ideas that you have down below that you want to see me do or talk about, there are just so many of these TLC videos that are just so gold that I haven't even seen people talk about before. This is one of them, and I, I hope this video does really well because Logan is truly one of my favorite people in the entire world. He's just low Logan, he's just something else. He's just, I just love Logan. Anyway, my mates, make sure to subscribe if you haven't, because we're almost at 2K and that's going to be super late when we hit 2K. You can also follow me on social media if you care to. Anyway, I love y'all. Mates Club forever. I'll see you soon.